What up? Hey, it's good to see you guys again for another episode of what we're going to talk about here today. Alright, Houston, yeah. Houston, Texas, yay. You know, I'm from this city. I grew up here. You know, I'm from the southeast side. Man, yo, Houston. <laughs> yeah, we got to talk. Right now, I'm having a whole intervention with all of Houston, a whole career intervention. All this arguing and stuff, no, uh-uh, none of that. Business is supposed to be El Perdo. Business is different than personal. See, <clears throat> this show isn't geared towards, uh, you know, a lot of you mainstream artists. So, I don't want nobody panties getting a bunch, because I didn't even say no names. And yet, how could I invoke a response when I'm not even talking to you? You understand? Yo. Alright, look, look. I have to do yet another episode on music industry etiquette. <coughs> Alright, yeah, music industry etiquette. How, how should I sum this up? Yay. Don't be a jerk to people, you know? And like, everywhere you go, you know, you can, well you can, but it's recommended that like, if you go through a drive-thru and you like buy yourself some dinner for the evening, it would be like, you know, a complaint is fine, but, you know, anything more than that around your food, we'll put it like this. I'll put it in simple words. Don't pre-expose your destiny and compromise it for something that's really not that important, you know? So be very, very careful with that. And I, I know I spoke Spanish to about 95% of the underground music scene here in Houston, Texas, currently, right now. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like that in a few months or whatever, years and decades, and I don't have time. So like, yay. Alright, look, you know, when you're working with other artists that can, like, help you in your career, uh, yeah, here's what, <clears throat> fame would do one or two things to you. It could get you rich beyond your wildest dreams, or it can kill you, okay? Me, I'm a cool guy. I'm the cool dude that's on your side. You see what I'm saying? I'm the cool guy. You know, I don't know how many thugs out here in Houston can deal with ISIS. You know, guys that will just, you know, in broad daylight, wherever you're sitting at, kidnap you and throw you in the trunk and, like, beat you with an AK and then put you on YouTube of, of them cutting your head off. Of them cutting your head off. That's, that's... Those are bad people, all right? Now, if I was around ISIS, I'm not saying that I'm looking for ISIS and, you know, I, you know I'm gonna be sitting there like, yo, hey, let's party, where are the girls? And let's shoot a music video, make a movie. You see what I'm saying? That don't, hey, let's party and let's holler at some fine ass girls. If that's offensive to anybody, I'm terribly, terribly, terribly sorry. But man, I can't, you know, fighting and fighting other people battles and I know, no. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all kill y'all career. It ain't about who has what or who doing what. It's not about that. And you know, and sometimes when you help some of these artists, they become codependent on you and very, very clingy and needy at once. And then when you can no longer help you, or when they can no longer, when you can no longer help them, they turn into a savaging. You know, I'm gonna tell you in the words of Ludacris. 
Anything is liable to come out the mouth of a desperate, starving, broke bitch. And that came from Ludacris. So if anybody have any problems, you direct them to Mr. Chris. <laughs> and so, you know, I can't be mad at Ludacris. So why can you? That was funny. That boy Ludacris like anything to come out the mouth of a desperate, starving, broke bitch. That was funny. So, no fighting. I mean, even if people are... I don't get it where, how, how are some of you guys homophobe but do gay stuff? Dude, if you're a male and you cling on to other males, I'm sorry. I mean, if that's what you do in your spare time, you know, good luck with that. But how the hell, why would, what is so afraid about going somewhere and being by yourself alone? Huh? What, 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 what constitute, how do you say, you know, whatever, whoop, the whoop, and no disrespect to no preference or orientation out there watching my show? But how can you, <laughs> nigga, man, guy acting like a girl texting me, man, yo, texting me a thousand times, now about 200, talking about violence and all this other stuff, because I didn't want to offer up my triple A after I moved at once, you know? using my stuff and my space telling me what to do and then talk bad about me behind my back. That is crazy. Let me tell you the people who gonna make it somewhere, especially if you're dealing with me. The people who speak good. And look, let me give you another warning too. Some, some of these people I do business with admire me. They respect me and they like me. Okay, so if you're coming around talking negativity, you're going to get robbed blind. They're going to rob you. But yet, somebody who just heard this is still going to go do it, talking negative. And they're going to come at me with a problem once the, I, I am not going to rob you. I'm not going to steal nothing from you. I'm not going to steal nothing from you. Whatever you make is all yours. I promise you that. But once you start talking to these other people and getting alliances and developing this, I don't know, this, it's like a clickish mannerism. Clickish. Of being clicks. You know? It, you know what I'm saying? Here's, here is, it's none of my business. How about that, Rob? Okay? Yo, let's make a movie. Let's party. Let's take care of business and try to make something of ourselves. Let's, you know what I'm saying, be productive members of society. Yeah, let's do something like that. Be productive members of society. Yeah, let's be productive members of society. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make a song called Productive Member of Society and I'm going to throw it on my mixtape. Uh, switching up my style with my verbs and my thesis. A platter full of plaques and a mix they full of features. Productive members of society. Okay? You know what I'm saying? It's like a bunch of different, it's like a million little things that a lot of these people do that's just like, uh, another one of my rappers, you know what I'm saying? I, I roll, I, you know what I'm saying? You catch me one deep or you see me with goons. You know what I'm saying? I got some cat rapper that was smoking sherm and was over there. You know what I'm saying? Come over there. Hey, hey, slow down, you know, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, whoa, whip out by the beat, by the book. Hey, you mother, chill out. Gotta go over there to some four guys sitting in the car, opening the doors and stuff. He was trying to, that clickish mentality. He was wet up, but he was trying to go over there. And then, yo, so he posted up right there, and the boy drove off and left him by himself. You see, you see how that little clickish, this little, I'm not gay, but I do gay stuff. Hey, I told you, if that's your business, hey, yo, yo, that's you. Good luck with that. I'm like, yo, sitting there with my goon, like, man, hey, yo, y'all better move your car, because he was getting mad. I'm sitting there discussing a business deal, and I'm like, yo, how, how are we sitting up here chilling, and this guy come over here, wait up, want to start something? 
up at the car window, and I'm like, yo, I don't even, I ain't, yo, I'm not even talking to this cat. I don't even know this cat. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, yo, what is, up, what is up with this stuff, man? I thought we could all operate on some level of we're all adults. And it's like one, then two, then three. They'll start trying to boom, 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 and they'll click up, and then yo, and then like, yo, yo. Rockstar, baby, I'm on tour talking to some fine chicks. And then mad about that, too. Like, yo, yo, come on, Houston, what the f is wrong with you guys? Please get smart. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you another thing. Beyonce dad, Mr. Nobles, if he don't find me, he going to fail. Shit, you saw that on Dish Network, TMZ, Mr. Nobles over at Houston Community College. I'm the first one with the first music production TV show here. Me, numero uno. And so, yo, Mr. Knowles, he start getting around. Yo, yo, then they gonna do the same thing to him. So, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I want to continue to help. And, yo, I don't think, man, yo, on my, my artist, my A&R department, I completely shut it down. I still work with models. And singers and actresses, you know what I'm saying? But like, yo, my whole artist development after those, I'm like, no, man, that, yo, I'm like, no. I, I, I stopped getting, y'all say, yes, you work with my company, you do get perks. Yeah, when you work with my month, with my company, you do get paychecks. And yes, you do get guaps. And yes, I will fire you. How can, how can I go to your company? I don't care if you were selling, you know what I'm saying, now laters. If you say, yo, homie, I don't want you selling my now laters no more. I'm cutting you off. I can't fight you and take your now laters, especially when the now laters are visible. What you trying to take? The T, baby. Take it. Hey, if you, if anybody out here is what I do. If anybody this bad, I, I pay you $1,000 cash. If you go to everybody in your city and take their TV, you pull, if you confiscate everybody's TV in every single house in Houston, you a bad dude or group. Everybody's television in which you watching this on right now. So while we're on the matter of this screen right here, you see, I want you to go down to the bottom of this page and you know, click that subscribe button over there. You see what I'm saying? And yo, I'm going to keep on dropping knowledge that I go through. I'm making a way. And whoever out there following me, you're going to get to where you need to go. You see what I'm saying? But the mechanics, man, a lot of you guys, hey, here, bottom line, here's why it's so important. Okay, it's very, very important because, look, you play around in this entertainment game, you can lose everything. You, if, even if you get rich, you're going to lose everything. In the end, when, you know what I'm saying, people getting old, people leaving you, people getting tired of you, new friends, and yo, you know what I'm saying, if you don't do this entertainment business right, I'm telling you right off the rip, right, lucky, or whatever you got to get to where you got to go, at least you have to be serious, you wasting time that you could be at a Kmart, a Target, a Popeye's, a doctor's lawyer's office. You know what I'm saying? A doctor, a lawyer, a comedian, uh, a rocket scientist. You know, some of you guys are actually pretty smart. But, yo, you want to develop in the proper direction. All right? Because, I mean, look, I'm not, I'm not, you know what I'm saying, point fingers or nothing. But if you look around, all the artists that's around you, probably about 80, 85, 92, 94% ain't going to be there. They're not even going to be there, but yet want to cause all this mischief and deceitful web of lies while they're trying to, you know, take care of what they think that, the, that they might want. You know, I'm not mad at them. I'm not upset, you know. Make a track, you know. Use it as a reference where you were in your life at the time. Hey, here's a music video. Look, this is what I was thinking. Every time you see a music video, you document your life and it's something you can leave behind. So, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know, a lot of you artists, man, that this is why people, I'm just telling you why people don't work with 
We want to work with some of you guys. Clingy, needy, and some of you could get violent. And I mean, like, what? Are you done? What else you got to say? Yo, 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 yo. Okay, no. Hey, yo, man, yo, I, yo, I'm burning my money helping you out and disrespectfulness. Okay, no. And then want to, you know what I'm saying, do all this other stuff. I'm not even going to call it hating. But all I say, are you finished yet? And it'll just fizzle out, say some more mean stuff, say some more mean stuff. And then, you know, after two days of texting, it's like they're going on, worry about their own business then. That, that is not how the entertainment industry is supposed to go. You know, Will Smith said it best, you know, even self-hatred or hatred in your heart will consume you. Which means that the feelings that some of you have in your heart is what's going to be your downfall. It's not what's in my heart. It's not what's in their heart. Whoever I'm directing this to, you. In your own personal heart. And nobody is in there because, you know, that's that's like Mortal Kombat. Kano, finish him. And that's illegal. And you're going to have a whole new set of problems over Harris County. You know what I'm saying? Life in prison or something. Why are we, we, we were just making music. Why are we talking about Harris County? This Why, why are we talking about jail on a music show? I don't know. Never mind. You see how it just be like, yo, take your pen, pencil, phone, write some lyrics, find a club, go to that club, and be like, yo, I'm a rapper, I'm a singer, I'm a model, I'm an actress, I'm an actor, and do something. It's like you're falling and you're just trying to pull people down with you. Oh, no. Do that reverse. Oh. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, yo, please just, no, I don't want to, hey, yo, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to say nothing disrespectful. I don't have nothing against homo homosexuals, uh, Christians, uh, Mormons, black, white, purple, yellow, Mexican, Oriental. You know what I'm saying? Swedish, Nova Scotian, you know what I'm saying? Puerto Rican, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing against all you cat Indians. I hate to put all those terms into one group, but at the same time, break them all down into different.